all sorts of ice melting there, but looks like another system's on the way. I know the good news is, is this one is a little bit different. So it's going to be a little bit warmer on the onset. So we'll have a little bit less ice and a little more snow. So overall, I think that'll make most people yeah, pretty awesome. happy. But <laughs> it's been a very, very active week uh, over the past couple of days, seeing a lot of storms coming in back to back. Obviously, we had a lot of ice last night and early this morning. We were able to warm up in the afternoon into the upper 30s to mid 40s, and that melted a lot of that ice. But we do have some more precipitation on the way. Right now that precipitation is in the form of rain going through the Ohio Valley. It's been in warmer air throughout most of the day, so that's why it's been rain as opposed to snow. But as we get closer and closer to Maine, you can see that circle right up in Canada. That's an area of high pressure that's going to bring a lot colder air down towards Maine and the rest of New England. So that's why we're going to get some more snow from this system as opposed to some rain. Now, because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory for the northern counties in Maine, and this is for snow between 2 and 5 inches. The winter weather advisory in New Hampshire is for the ice accretion from the freezing rain there. Now, over the next couple of hours, we're going to see an increase in cloud cover. Right now, there's a little bit less cloud cover in northern and eastern Maine, so that will pick up over the next couple of hours. It'll also be a little bit cooler in those areas overnight than this model is showing. And then precipitation begins to move into southern York County around Friday at 4 a.m. Now, I mentioned that this is going to be a little bit warmer on the onset, so I think we'll start off with a little bit of freezing rain right along the coast, but it'll switch over faster just to regular rain. However, a little bit farther inland, especially into the lakes region, is where we're going to see the most ice accretion in Maine. So it's kind of set up right in the right area to see that freezing rain. However, we are going to see some more widespread snow showers. This is Friday at 8 a.m. So I think in western Maine, the morning commute is going to be a little bit slippery. But at that point, the precip hasn't made it to northern and eastern Maine quite yet. Kind of west of the Bangor area, I think, is where we're going to see some slippery morning commutes. But overall, more snow than the system that we just saw. And that's going to continue throughout most of the day. This is Friday right around lunchtime, even seeing some pockets of heavier snow in there where those dark purple shades are near Augusta and Waterville. So we could pick up a couple of inches from this storm. It's got more moisture in it than the last one did. Now, as we get late in the day, right around dinner time, we start to have some precipitation start to break up in western Maine. Still going pretty strong in northern and eastern Maine, though, as we get into later in the day. But the system moves out pretty quickly, and most of us will be done with precipitation by the time we get to this time tomorrow. Now, as we set up for Saturday, it's going to be a bit of a cloudier day, also seeing some scattered snow showers throughout the day, especially the mid coast down through the southern coast as well, also into Lewiston. That's going to be throughout kind of the midday tomorrow, and then it's going to remain cloudy throughout the day on Sunday, but it's going to be dry. Not going to see much snow shower activity going on for Sunday. So overall, this system is going to have less ice than the one that we just saw last night. If you're shaded in those pink areas, that's our best chance to get ice really in the lakes region and then back into New Hampshire and overall less than what we saw last night into early tomorrow morning. But on the flip side, a lot of us are going to see more snow out there. Could even see some sleet on the transition as well. So really one to three inches in the Luce and Augusta area three to five in the Bangor area, and one to three once again north of Millinocket. Now another system we're watching for Sunday, the track has been a little bit tricky. It's right along the edge of the coast, so if this center of low pressure moves north or south, it's going to make a big difference. Right now I think the best bet is clipping York and Cumberland counties with a little bit of snow, but the rest of us are not going to see much from that. Sea is two to four feet and water is 40 degrees there. So for our seven day forecast, it's been a bit of an active weather pattern over the past couple of days, but then things will start to quiet down as we get into the middle of next week, Zach, but things are going to turn pretty cold. All right, Dana. Thanks.